The report, I, I think, it, we can recognize that the, the topic, the future of the African drylands, it, it, it increased in importance very much with the experience of recurrent droughts in both the Horn and the Sahel in um, the recent years. And at the time, in response to that, with the increased attention to the question of the drylands and fundamentally the issues of vulnerability and resilience, there was a decision that we should get some new perspectives and new analysis on these issues that would help decision makers understand some key decisions about programs, investment, policy changes that would help to uh, identify options and improve decision making um, for the future of these key areas of, of Africa. But I think the lessons learned are quite relevant for the broader resilience agenda, which of course is a global one and not just an African one. So I think we'll be interested today in hearing about the findings of this report, specifically in reference to um, the African drylands, but also if there are any lessons that we can generalize for the global agenda on resilience more generally. Now we have two reports, our, our um, program for today is such that we will have two uh, rather sizable presentations, in fact so sizable um, that as the presenters tried to send them to me so that I could review them and understand what we're going to, to see, they were too large actually to pass through the internet systems and so I haven't seen them yet myself so I'm looking forward to um, looking very carefully at the presentations. So clearly we have a big body of information and evidence that we can review and ours will, to present those two uh, reports, we will have three speakers. Um, uh, Raffaello Servigni, a lead environmental economist of the World Bank, will um, lead off and he will be um, relieved in the presentation approximately midway by Mohamed Mansouri, the senior advisor from the Food and Agricultural Organization of, of the UN and the FAO is one of the, the key partners in, in this work. Then we will turn to Stephen Danio who is a senior natural resource management specialist at the World Bank. And he will give us um, a second presentation. And then in our comments and remarks from the panel, we're very pleased to be joined by Tesfaye Beshe, who is representing EGAD, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development based in Djibouti, which has been very active in thinking about resilience in the issues of the horn. And uh, we may also have some representation from SILS from the audience. We would very much welcome that because SILS from the West African side, the Permanent Interstate Committee for Drought Control in the Sahel, has been a very active partner in this um, work. So we would invite any um, comments from the experience of SILS from the audience. So with that, may I turn over to Raffaello to start us off. <laughs> 